I know, look at that. I know, it's standing up. Look at all these boxes. Look. Oh my goodness. What are we going to do? Why don't you just back the truck up all the way over there? Huh? Why don't you back the truck up all the way over there? Because I started spinning. Uh, right behind you. Here, let me bud. Hey, boo-boo. I didn't know you. Hey, Boo Boo. Where's Maddie? Maddie. Maddie. Where's Maddie? There's Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Where's Maddie? Hi, Maddie. <laughs> I fell out of the bag. He likes eating pieces of that. How much you got done already? Unfinished the upstairs bathroom. Wow. Thank you, Len, for your help. You and Levi. Thank you, Levi, for helping. Well, you're yeah, just hanging. Levi's a tremendous help. I don't know what we do without him. Mm -hmm. I'm videoing you. It has begun the great move. Be famous by tomorrow. That's right. That's what we like to hear. That's it. That's credit. Yeah. That sounds good. Appreciate right. it. Yeah, no problem. Try that. <laughs> there is no way. Here's where Juliana passed away, if you guys know. Right there.
strap or you I'm just going to slide a little more towards me. Yeah. 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 There we go. Huh? Seven up. You guys are incredible. I'm going to miss these woods more than I can tell you. Six and a half acres here. And I'm going to miss every one of them. This is the northeast side of our property looking into Pennsylvania. So many memories. The kids love playing in the woods. We dug out these paths and cleared them out and kept weed and feed, not weed and feed, um, weed killer on these about every two weeks in the spring and, and warmer months to keep the paths open. We did that for many, many years so the weeds wouldn't take over. miss this view something bad between the view and the woods and of course the house I miss it so bad already and up here is where a few of the kids built a fort Juliana and Tim and Christina they built a fort back here several years ago I think 2014 when they did it up here. Right back in here. I brought these stumps from the west side of the property over here so they had a place to sit. I remember them hanging up a, a tablecloth up here picnics out here. Tim told me a story that somewhere back here several years ago Juliana and he had a picnic and they would just I just look out the woods and the, and the fields 
and just talked. Just talked. Told me that a couple times. I'm walking down the east side of our land one last time and I look up and I see this. Looks like an upside down wishbone from a chicken or a turkey or whatever it is. Isn't it strange? where Juliana's Make-A-Wish pool once stood. This is on the west side of the house. There's the house. This is the west side. Kids had so much fun in this pool. Or what used to be a pool. Lots and lots and lots of fun. This is walking down the west side of our property. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I did that a week or two ago. It's the house back that way. This is the west side of the property. Again, we used a uh, weed killer for years every few weeks to uh, try to keep the paths clear. That was a task. Six and a half acres, it was uh, quite a bit of effort to keep things Nice and open for the kids to run and play. I don't know why, but this rock right here to your left, I just, I just wish I could take it. It probably weighs a ton. I used to take lots of, or several photographs of Juliana on this rock right here. It was kind of like our natural little background. Isn't it weird how you get attached to things and stuff? remind you of certain places and times in your life. Again, this is on the west side of the property. We're not even to the end of the property yet. It's way over there, just before that shed back there that's not ours. We love the woods. Again, if we were going to stay here, I would have cleared this out weeks ago. Sorry to cut your conversation. Almost done. Loading up the trucks. Heading to the other place. Just ordered some pizza about half an hour ago. Should be here any minute. Our master bedroom. That's a lot of stuff, guys. That's all I can tell you. Let me get the picture. Video. Oh. Yeah. Hey. How you doing? Hey. <laughs> right. That bike rack goes. It goes in the white shed. Um,
by, I think it was a 30 acre farm. Yeah, pretty awesome. Back of your shirt. <laughs> Top notch moving and storage. <laughs> Call them now. everybody it's March 21st 2020 and I'm standing in what's now our empty home that uh, we lost we had to move out yesterday and in two days we hand over the keys to uh, the new owners so I thought I'd give you a quick video tour of our now empty home because this is going to be probably the last time I will be here This is the foyer. This was our dining room right here. This was the family room as you've seen lots of videos and pictures. This was what we called the living room, the formal room, which we have doors up and we kept closed so the kids wouldn't come in here and mess up the furniture that we've had that was in this room for I guess we had bought that furniture when, uh, way before we even had children. This was my office once upon a time, and then Tammy's office after that. Again, this is the empty family room right here. So from here, I'll take you into the kitchen. which I know you've seen multiple times. So I'm empty of all, all the stuff that was on the counters. Laundry room. I'm just vacuuming through the house for the new owners. The stuff that I need to take back to the next place. This was our, um, let's see, it was a homeschool room for a while when Tammy taught the kids homeschool. And then an informal dining room. This is the informal dining room. That's the formal dining room. And there's a foyer over there. And we're going to go up the back steps. We had two staircases put in because the house is so long and so big. In case there was a fire, we wanted to have two exits for the kids. So this is the master bedroom. And right here is where our Juliana passed away right under that window right there on October 24th 2016 that's the driveway so this is the, again the master bedroom and over here was a sitting area that I know you've seen lots of videos over there it's a master bed uh, master bathroom we rarely ever use that thing Again, now empty, as you can see. Long hallway. Kids love to play in the hallway. 
and throw the ball back and forth. The dog would run up and down, up and down the hallway. Lots of memories here for sure. And here was Lindsay's bedroom. And then it became Draven's bedroom. Right here. And across the hall is Juliana's bedroom. She loved her bedroom. Loved, loved, loved her bedroom. I miss her so bad. And down here is, this was the girls' bathroom. With six kids, we wanted to have a couple bathrooms up here. This room was Rebecca's bedroom. And then it became my office a few years ago. Now empty. This was Christina's bedroom right here. This is the uh, this is the boys' bathroom. Was the boys' bathroom. This is Tim's bedroom. Our son Tim. And this is Matthew's bedroom. So the people who are who have uh, going to move in, these are the front stair stair steps. They have three, I believe, three or four little boys. So they're pretty excited about it. We're back to the foyer. I'm going to head down the basement just to make sure everything's cleared out of there before I turn the lights off and lock up. Hmm, basement lights are on. That's not supposed to be. So this is a now empty basement. I'm glad I came down. Some flowers. One of those are go to Juliana's grave. It's another one for Juliana's grave. I need to grab those. That's an old picture when we only had Two kids, Rebecca and Matt. Let me try to get the glare off of it. Mm, not so much. Long time ago, it was in the mid '90s that was taken. Me and Tammy and Matthew and Rebecca. So that's about it. And as you know, out back was where Juliana's Make-A-Wish pool was. Take a quick peek out there. Right out there is where her pool was. Back deck. This is it. This is this is how it all ends, you know. <clears throat> Love you guys a lot. I really do. A very painful situation to lose your home. But millions and millions of people have had that happen to them as well. But I doubt anybody else has had their child have cancer eight times and then die. I don't know if that's ever happened to anybody else. I'm in Juliana's room for the last time. Um, whew, it's really hard, you know, because I know I won't be back in here ever again. I'll be able to come to her room and talk to her. You know, I go to our grave and see her, but it's not the same, you know. She had so much fun in this bedroom. She really did. So much fun. And I won't be able to come in here ever again and see her. Not see her, but talk to her. It's just not fair, guys. It's not fair at all. She deserves so much more. I miss her bad. This is it. The last light of the house.
miss that house more than I can tell you. Okay everybody, we are moved in, not quite done on packing, but mostly, and I want Tammy to give you kind of a tour of the main floor okay. where we're staying. This is obviously the kitchen. Small, but it works. And then you have the hallway, and there's a bathroom on this floor, a full bath down here, and another one upstairs. Another full bath upstairs. Here. The front door comes into the dining room, which is unusual, but it works. Got the dining room. That was my grandmother's. My mom's mom. Hold up, hold up. A little picture here. The kitties were little. We gotta hang a few more pictures. But we got more to hang up. Yeah. Okay. And then here's the living room. Yeah, it's small, but it works. Remember this one? This was hanging over our fireplace at the last house. And over here uh, is oh, almost forgot. This is Draven's space. This is toy area. I'm just going to take you on a tour of the main floor right now. This is the office. Tammy and I are sharing office space now. This is Tammy's space. Some of my books. I got rid of well over, I don't know, 100 or 200 books in the last several months. You remember my office at the other house this is a little curio with some of Julie's stuff in it up here is some of her hair when she lost her hair several times <laughs> this desk was my dad's mom's got the copier in so that's that's where upstairs? no we don't need to go upstairs right now I guess um, um, unless you want to, it's up to you, right? okay go for it right. take them on the five five cent tour Behind the scenes, folks. We have a neat little landing here where we can sit outside. Come upstairs, which is kind of different. We're still unpacking. So here's the baby's room. This is Draven's space, his room. Bedroom. Mm. And this is the storage room. This is neat. We're going to be doing all afternoon. This is going to be our project. Organizing that. The movers put it all in there for us. Bathroom. bathroom. This is. And the laundry room. Slash exercise room. So this is our abode right now, guys. I don't know how long we'll be here. As you know, I'm still applying for lots of jobs. I actually have been turned down for either four or five jobs just in the last two days. So you can imagine, multiply that times how many times that happens in a week. It's incredible how many jobs I've been turned down for. But this is home for now. So I love you all very much. We love you a lot, right? See ya. Talk to you soon.